Alright, so if you guys know LGND and you follow me personally, you know that I bought this 2020 Ford F450 limited package for myself and I built it exactly how I wanted it. I put a ton of money into it, uh, $50,000 to be exact, on top of the $100,000 it was right off the lot as it is. So $150,000 total into this truck to make it basically my dream truck. And um, here I am making an overview video for you guys because I'm giving it away to one of you along with $30,000 in cash. So let's go over the truck that you can win. Every single overview video is the same. We say basically we take every single piece of plastic, the lights apart, the mirrors, everything that is not color matched, we take it off and we have it color matched to the greatest extent. It's always perfect done by our painter, the same painter that always did our work when we were doing custom trucks and custom lighting specifically. So all the paint on these trucks that we give away is the highest quality paint that you're gonna find in the industry. If you go to a truck show and you see one of our trucks, compare ours with other people. And of course there are other very good painters out there, but it only gets so good and this is the absolute best it can get. This is Star White Tri-Coat, it's the new Pearl White. The 2019's had a little bit more of a cream to the Pearl. So this is the new pearl white, everything's color matched in that color. Uh, down to the badges, I mean if you look at the badges on this thing, these plaques right here are not two piece. Each single letter here had to get masked off. So we have decals that are cut out specifically to go on these letters and then we do two tone. And then of course these all have to come apart, mirrors have to come apart. Now keep it, it is a little dirty now because it was just raining and I just drove it. But um, it was a little dirty but mirrors are completely color matched, smooth with switch back reflectors like always and uh, we don't put the strips right behind the lens because I feel that those are way too bright and speaking of too bright it has recon white LED cab lights which are way too bright in my opinion but there's really no way to dim those down on these we have the option to dim them down which is with a little technique that I use um, no one really does these the way that we do them so that's unique headlights are obviously color matched completely taken apart color match with frosted DRL lenses so that the light shows through nice and smooth. Whole entire front end besides the um, air dam is color matched. I keep those black all the time on most of our trucks just because I feel it looks better otherwise you have a big blob white bumper. Emblems all color matched of course. Steps. So the steps on all of our trucks if it's a white truck anything other than a black truck basically we powder coat them. So, and we get as close as we could to the paint, powder coat the steps, and then we paint the, the end caps to match because the end caps are plastic and the steps themselves are metal. If you paint steps, you are 99% likely to chip them. If you powder coat them, you have a 99% chance that they won't chip. So, it's up to you, but we powder coat all of them. And um, if you can't find a color that matches perfectly, find one that matches close and uh, do that because you don't want your, your steps chipping and then it looks like crap. Paint work. Uh, in the back we have uh, these bed markers. These are recons color matched with just little slits to show the light. Recon third brake light opened up painted white on the inside and then painted white on the outside as well and smoothed so you don't see the seal at all. The stock ones and the recon ones have a little gap in the seal. We smoothed that out with um, body filler and then we painted over again. Uh, even the cab lights, or not the cab lights, but the cab lights are color matched. Even the antennas in the back and with the rain guards up here. Those are color matched as well. So those are plastic. We took those off, which means the whole headliner needed to come down. Took everything off on the top because those and those little two antennas, which are new for 2020, were black plastic. Didn't want to see those on the top of the roof, so we put color matched those as well. The stock tail lights, which are awesome from Factory, are color matched as well with uh, obviously color matched border and then tinted where the light shows through. Entire rear bumper color matched and smooth, as well as tailgate handle, like always. Backflip MX4 bed cover, which in my opinion is the absolute best bed cover that you can get for all of the new trucks. It's just sleek, very easy to use, and uh, my biggest thing is I don't like seeing uh, bed covers from the side where they like come up above the bed rail. So backflip MX4, best bed cover in my opinion, as well as a bed rug. So if you put any precious cargo back here, um, it's safe. It's gonna bang around and it's not going to ding and dent. So if you drop something back here that's sharp and heavy, it's not gonna puncture the bed. Even if you have bed liner, I'm sorry to tell you, but it's going to dent or even puncture if you drop something very heavy. 
this will absorb the impact because it is very, very thick and it's all Velcroed down, but it's about a quarter inch to a half inch thick in some spots. So you're not gonna really damage the bed with this. Um, and if you have a bed cover, then you're not gonna get water in your bed as well. So you really can't use a bed rug unless you have a bed cover because obviously you get wet. But this is weatherproof, so if you want to power wash it, clean it, you can do so. Now suspension wise, this truck is pretty much loaded to the gills. Obviously, the truck itself, which we will get to in a bit, the interior and all the functions of the limited package. But the lift kit itself is a PMF suspension. Everything on this truck is PMF suspension as far as the lift kit goes. So we'll start up front. So it's, uh, I except for the coils, my bad. So the coils are Icon coils for a seven inch lift. King shocks, front and rear, resis with billet PMF um, resi clamps. We have PMF four link kit with the, uh, the, the radius arm drop. PMF adjustable track bar so that when you lift it, you could adjust your track so that it's right and you're not crab walking down the road. So PMF diff covers and then PMF dual steering stabilizer kit with King uh, steering stabilizers. Everything's all powder coated pearl white from Prismatic powders to match the paint on the truck with some chrome accents. So like the Eagles are chrome, some small accents are chrome. And then, oh, can't miss those. The um, adjustable uh, sway bar end links. So if you want to go higher or lower, you can use these end links. They're all billet. And uh, to be honest, I use them on all of my Fords. PMF is awesome for Fords. And PMF track bar drop, that big block thing you see right here. So everything on here is PMF. Best quality in the market, one of the best. And uh, there are a lot of other companies out there that are great, but PMF is the only one that I've ever used. Uh, Trevor's a great guy, the owner, and he, um, it's just quality work. Very, very nice work. So PMF, dusted his traction bars. I believe these are the stage three. Powder coated white, of course. And then the back is pretty simple because there's not as many components to change when you're lifting a truck. So it's just PMF blocks, U-bolts, diff cover, and then of course the King 2.5 resi shocks. And then powder coated hitch, pearl white as well to match the rest of the powder coat. The wheels are 26 inch American Force Orions in the back. So they're 26 by 8.25 inch wheels, both of them, in the back with 20, or sorry, 35, 13, 5, 26 Fury MT tires which are almost impossible to find on a dually with 26 inch wheels because they are so hard to mount. Um, these are 13 and a half inch wide tires going on a 8.25 inch wheel with about three inches of sidewall. So you gotta think that tire needs to go from this to this with about this much sidewall. So that sidewall needs to go like this. It's just an, an insane amount of pressure while you're mounting these things. But if you find the right person, they can be done. And we got them done thankfully, by uh, Jerry Smith, JF Smith Automotive out in uh, Pennsylvania. I believe it's in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Uh, if you guys need 35, 13, 5, 26 is mounted on 26 inch dually wheels, he's the guy to go to or any other tire. I'm, I'm assuming if he could do these, he could do any other tire, but he's the only guy I could find within like a six hour radius that would do these. And in between the two wheels, we have Shifted Industries billet two inch spacers. They are massive two inch spacers. I mean, you could think about the size of a, uh, a Civic wheel, like this big. So they're big boys, 10 lug. These are, it's a real 10 lug truck. It's a 450, not a 350. So they're 10 lug spacers. They are absolutely massive. They were almost $1,000 for the set. And um, yeah, that's why not many people have them. But we wanted this truck to be as wide as possible. So we threw those on. And then on the front, 26 by 14 Orion concave wheels. So there are no spacers on the front. They just stick out this much because the 450 has the wider track the wider axle from uh, factory. And on top of that, they're 26 by 14 concaves, so the offset is, I believe, like one, negative 114, which is a lot. And then same tires as the back, obviously, 20, or 35, 13, 5, 26 Fury MT tires. Braided um, brake lines by PMF suspension. And then this is our special little technique. This is actually your, uh, your vacuum line for your axle. And, um, I won't spill the secret, but if you go to my other YouTube channel, Legends Geo, you can find that in the build series, what exactly I use there. And then we tie them together so it's all nice and neat, not all over the place, and the ABS wires in there as well, so you don't have wire, uh, line, line, and then clamps all over the place, all in one spot, looks really nice. 
and the um, drive shaft because we like our trucks usable. Not with Bluetooth drive shafts, we put a um, aftermarket drive shaft in there that we got some wicked customs out in Florida. Now we can go to the interior. So it is a 2020. So the limited on the 2020s, they came with a little bit different of a tan interior than the old ones. So before they were tan and black, or sorry, tan and brown option, or you could just do all black. The new ones are a lighter tan and black, so no more tan and brown. And I was uh, not a huge fan of it at first, but I like it now because all, even the wood grain, like on the door right here, it's black wood grain, it's real wood. It's, it's a very, very clean truck. And um, unlike all the other brands, uh, Ford has its ups and downs, but one thing that I love about it is when you first open the door, the presentation right here with all the chrome, the chrome around the buttons, it's spot on. Light up door sills. So, full suede headliner from factory. Tan suede with the panoramic roof. Truck needs to be on. Panoramic roof. So the whole thing doesn't open, but it's full glass. You can put the shade all the way back, but the whole thing doesn't open. So only the front opens, but regardless, it's awesome. The Rams and the GMCs do not come with that on the 2500 models, and the Fords do, which is one of the upsides of Ford. Hop in the back, and you get fully built, custom sub box by Mobile Toys Electronics, which pretty much builds all of my custom sub boxes. Top notch service, top notch quality, and uh, I've never had an issue. They're just the best, that's it. Great guys over there. They built some awesome products and um, the sound is just absolutely unreal. So there's four, J there's four JL 10W3 subs in there with a JL 1200.1 uh, HD amp and LED lights. Literally, I, every single time I get a sub box for a personal truck, I always match the interior um, to the sub box or the sub box to the interior. So it's black. It's all black with uh, tan suede on the inside, just like the headliner in the truck. Matching stitching, so you can actually see it right here, the, the seat to the sub box. And then it has limited engraved in the front, jail audio engraved on the sides, full glass, so you can see everything going on in there. I mean. I love it. Sad that I'm gonna see it go, but one of you is gonna like it even more. So, uh, heated rear seats, not cooled, but the front is heated and cooled, as well as, of course, in the Fords, you get massage seats, driver and passenger. So, it's not a Rolls Royce, but it's as close as you can get in the truck world. Uh, yes, it's tinted. Uh, there's five, actually five over 20 on the front windows, five over 20 on the rear windows, and then 20% on the windshield. So, if you guys don't want tint, you can take it off, but it's here if you don't like being seen. So. Uh, the truck itself, it is the 2020, as you know, the 2020s come with the 10-speed transmission, which is kind of weird to see 10 numbers on the side over here when you uh, turn it on. So, a little different, but it's a great running truck. It's very quick for being bone stock and uh, it'll tow pretty much anything you throw it at it. Um, sound system is the, I believe it is the Bang & Olufsen. Yes, it is, it's Bang & Olufsen. So it's uh, a great sound system and paired with those subs, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, 360 degree cameras like all the new trucks have. So you have cameras in the mirrors, camera in the tailgate, camera in the grill, uh, camera in the third brake light. So cameras everywhere, 360 view. You can look at it just from here adaptive cruise control. I mean, you have it all in this truck. It's a fully loaded. This is literally the highest you can get, the highest model Ford you can get. And it's actually the most expensive truck in the market because an F450 Limited starts at, I believe, $90,000 and goes all the way up to $100,000. So it is a very expensive truck and uh, now you can see why. But I think that, it, oh, there we go. Can't forget that. Number 91, it says it right here on the 20, on all of the Ford Limiteds actually. So this is number 91. I have no idea what the, it's out of, to be honest, but this one's 91. I actually ordered this like six months before they were gonna release, so who knows? I kinda wanna know what it goes up to. I've always been interested in that. And then $30,000 cash that you're gonna get in the cup holder, just like this when you come to pick it up, along with the keys right there. And then you're gonna sign the title, and it's gonna be yours, and you're gonna drive off into the sunset in your brand new 2020 amazing truck with a cash a boatload of cash but um that's about it i think so let's uh hop out and say goodbye all right so now that you guys know what you can win uh you should probably head over to the website 
So head over to the website lgnspyco.com, search it up in your search bar right above this video, or click the link below this video, grab some entries, and get entered in for the first week. If you're not watching this during the first week, then you missed out. But for the first week, you're gonna get 10 times the entries, so every $1 you spend is 10 entries to win that truck and $30,000 in cash. And it really is as simple as getting entered and just waiting to see if you won. And until then, just rock your merch with pride because you're rocking some merch from a great company and you have a chance to win a truck. So anyways guys, get entered. I'll see you uh, on your Facebook or Instagram feed.